Hey everybody, it's the Daily Moogle, and welcome back to Avion 4. I feel like I cut off the last video in kind of a weird spot. We had just started exploring Windshire, and in this video we're going to continue doing so. Uh, no webcam again today, sorry about that. Um, stay off, stay away from the windmill, huh, Mark? Alright. Thank you, I'll, I'll heed that advice, I guess, since I'm new in town and I don't really know what's going on. So we're kind of looping back to where we first entered the village. And I know there's a bunch of places we haven't even got to yet. Such as the inn. So we don't need to rest, but it's good to know how much it costs. It's 15 gold coins. Don't mind me, I'm just resting. My legs aren't what they used to be. I didn't really ask you how your legs were, jerk. I don't care about your legs. Oh wow, okay, so in this game they don't even let you go upstairs unless you're a paying customer, huh? What if I have to go to the bathroom? And that's where the bathroom is. All right, what do we got over here? We see, we see some haystacks, some little veggie gardens. This is kind of cool. I work so hard all day, but not once have I eaten anything from the farm. No matter how tempted I've gotten. Why not? You grow the food, don't you eat it? I mean, that's what farmers do, right? Like, they grow- they obviously grow the food commercially to sell it, and that's how they make a living, but... Isn't that how they- like, why would- why wouldn't you eat the food that you grow? It's not like you're gonna go to the grocery store and buy it. Maybe- I don't know. Maybe that's how it works. It's sad. I'd really like to see how my parsnip garden is faring. So what- I missed- okay. I guess I missed most of that conversation. I was gonna... I was gonna listen again, because I was talking over it. But she misses her parsnip garden, okay. It's not like we got a quest out of that, so I guess we don't really need to... to care too much. <laughs> no offense. But if there's no questing involved and no reward, then what do I care? This is your secret place? Yeah, there's a kind of a little funny story at work that happened one time. So somebody was, like, hanging out in the back, uh, playing Angry Birds on their phone. And they, you know, they had the sound on, so, like, you could kind of hear it from the other room. And then, like, the boss comes in and he's like, Crap, now I gotta find a new hiding spot. <laughs> so I'm sure everybody's gotten in trouble for playing Angry Birds before, you know, when you're not supposed to. Or any other game, for that matter. I was expecting this goat-sheep thing to be, like, uh, one of the talking ones. Like, from Harakana. Hopefully I'm remembering that word right. Saying it right. From Avion 3! So this is the windmill that's off guards, huh? You heard there was a ghost! And that's why nobody's allowed in? Well, isn't, shouldn't that just be up to... Like, if you want to go in, you should be able to. It's just... You, there's a ghost, so be aware of that. What is that sign? This place looks... Is that the ghost of the windmill? Oh my god, it's Chester! Chester the Molester! That's not funny. Um, I gotta stop saying that every time I see this <laughs> NPC. Okay, good. So, I, yeah, I want to hand in Cheekies. And you guys definitely did a good job of pointing out, too, that I missed in the previous area. So I am going to go back and get those, that actually, that I should have just done that first before I even started recording. But let's see what we can do here. We can get a staff upgrade. Darkness 2. Gain 12 mana when attacking. That sounds good. Unleash your disdain on your enemies. Contempt 2 and empower minion. Ooh, that looks really good. Double damage of the minion for the fight. That sounds really good, actually. I think I want to get that one. But I'm not going to get anything yet before I go and get those other cheekies. Yeah, I know it doesn't really matter. I'm just... That's how my brain works, alright? Gotta roll with me here. Tabitha. I don't like mutton pie, but it's the cheapest thing in the store. That's because it's made in Windshire. I guess that makes sense. It doesn't have to be shipped anywhere or packaged, really. So that would bring your cost down. What do you have here? So this is like the item shop. Mutton pie heals 75 HP, very nice. 
These items are all stuff we've seen before. Pepper dust. Sneeze yourself out of transformations. <laughs> so that's how it works. You have to sneeze yourself out. And I got some Cassia leaves already. I'm probably good on those. I'm back to my old stingy self. You know, in the beginning of the game, money is precious. It's harder to come by. You know what I mean? Like, the prices of the items and stuff you have to buy doesn't really change as you go through the game. So as you get more money later on, buying those items really isn't as big of a deal. Uh, except for this guy. I want to buy the Cheeky, but 500 Man. I found it creeping around. Oh, dude. I'm definitely going to come back and buy that. The level egg is 500 too. Blue bandana. Yeah, alright. That's a lot cheaper. Whatever. What's this? Like a Triforce looking thing? A ghostly trinket. Gives a tiny health boost. Ghosts aren't very healthy. What? Is, what? <laughs> There's something spooky about that thing. Alright. I hate to leave a cheeky behind on purpose. Alright, let me go get those other two cheekies. Now that I'm thinking about it again, because I think I forgot in between like three minutes ago. Oh no! The game doesn't let us backtrack still. Oh dude, that sucks. When is the gonna when is when is the gonna giga guh? Giggity giggity goo! When is the game going to let us backtrack? Like, I keep not being able to go back in area and get stuff I missed. It's kind of a disappointment. I mean, I'm sure we'll be able to later on, but Jesus, man. It just sucks that much more when you miss something. So the Briar Woods are to the south. Trolls, goblins, and ravens await you. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs> Okay, what do we have over here? I like how nobody is recognizing me from the posters that are all over town. <laughs> nobody can escape the Overseer's watchful eye anyway. That's right! My name's Pierce! <laughs> well, I'm going in. Joke's on you. We don't get a lot of folk visiting the prison. The overseer scares a lot of them off. I need to start giving like an accent or something to all these NPCs. I watch over the prison grounds. Nothing gets past my watch but I. And this just seems like a way out in the country boonies kind of place. So that's why I'm kind of doing the southern drawl. The Windshire Prison is not a tourist attraction. Unless you'd like an extended stay, I suggest to turn around. Did you just threaten to throw me in jail? Don't you know that I almost ruled the world? Keyword almost. Yeah, I get it. Nobody's ever escaped. Your jail is the best in the lands. Good for you guys. I mean, some would argue politically that, you know, instead of being proud of our prisons, we should, uh, focus more on recuperation and better mental health and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, who needs that? I suppose I should be grateful for what I have. My neighbor's farm recently got turned into a prison. So the, the prison used to be somebody's farm, huh? Come here, sheep. Come here, sheepy. Sheep, sheep, sheep. Bah. Okay, I guess I can't interact with you. That makes me sad. I want to interact with the sheep. Alright, what do we have here? It's hard work running a dairy. The youngins always cause me no end of grief. Is that so? I can take care of them for you. Yeah, well, for once, an NPC in a game doesn't let you just explore their house unattended. Like, that's what you would expect to actually happen if you tried to go upstairs, you know, in somebody's house. Excuse me. You gotta help us. We were supposed to be watching the mutton, but one... The one with the golden fleece escaped. I escaped, he did. Saw it with me own eyes. 
I don't know what accent I was going for there. Use your imagination. So, the Golden Fleece, huh? We've heard of that before. You can do that yourselves. Mommy can see us through the window. We've got to keep waving so she don't get suspicious. <laughs> Hi, Mommy. We's just playing. I swear we didn't lose the Golden Fleece or anything. I don't know why I said that, but we totally didn't lose it. Yeah, if you're going to give me a reward, then f oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. Awesome. So here's the mutton. But where did the golden one escape to? I wonder. There's a cheeky! Alright! Let's go rave, because we found a cheeky. Cheeky rave. <clears throat> Alright, I don't see the golden one. So who knows where it went? I mean, they didn't really give me any clues. I don't know. I guess we'll figure out where they are, eventually. We kind of need to figure out what to actually do next, though. I think that might be... pretty much all the town. I mean, I guess there's always the Briar Woods. Oh, no, that's right. Thank you, Boyle. We were heading to the east to go to the ferry. I did, uh, know that. I just forgot. Okay, it happens from time to time. I'm pretty good at it, actually. Forgetting things, that is. You know what? I did not go in here yet. What is this little... this quaint little place? It's a blacksmith. Sturdy mutton vest. Oh, that's pretty good. Plus eight defense. And Boyle doesn't use the claws there. It's probably for mist or somebody. Alright. Um... You know what? I'm gonna stick with the defense. You can basically choose if you want, like, a strength boost or an evasion boost as well, but it it basically takes that away from the defense. No, you know what? For 30 more gold coins, I better get the extra strength, too, I guess. Yeah. Wow, did you see that? When you buy something, there's no, like, confirmation screen. There's no, like, are you sure this is what you want to buy? <laughs> so make sure you're hovering over the thing you want before you click OK, because you might... I could see, like, you accidentally buying something you didn't want, and then you're just screwed. Okay, so I guess there's no new weapons or anything for Boyle just yet. <clears throat> Did I talk to you? Having a hard time watching your garden. Yeah, okay, that sucks. I sympathize with you. And let me double check here. Sorry, guys, I... It's hard to keep track of where I went and where I didn't. Oh, hey, yeah, you're the goblin toenail person. I'm gonna make some wicked things with these. All right, cool, I accidentally finished a quest. And I got some more money. Money, money, money. All right, just in time. Right after we discovered all the expensive things we're gonna have to buy. That's, that's the perfect time to find additional funds with which you can purchase said items. <laughs> All right. Um, well, shoot. Right, okay, let me get my act together here. All right, since I can't go back and get those two cheekies, I just came back here and I figured, uh... You know, I, I should just buy what I can. I mean, why not? I can basically buy if I wanted to get all the tens. Um, although, I mean, gaining 12 mana is really good. Because Boyle runs out really fast. He really doesn't have that much. I think I am gonna actually get that. Okay, and then, um, definitely the Empower Minion. And then, unfortunately, I'm gonna be too short of being able to get anything else, so I guess I'll just come back. But yeah, there, there is an option to upgrade Boyle's staff, so I'm kind of wondering, like... I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be additional staves we can buy later in the game or something, but it's like... Maybe that's more the way that you're, you know, growing your attack is by upgrading your weapon instead of buying new ones. This is another another house that I don't think I actually went into. So, sorry, I'm just kind of stepping in on my way through. I'm Alan. They call me the Town Loudmouth. So, hopefully you don't recognize us, because you'll just run and tell everybody. 
That would not be good. That would be not in my best interest. Hey, I found another cheeky. Awesome. Dude, I didn't realize they could be, like, hiding all over the place. Man, I... I really should be checking everything as I go along here, and I have not been doing that at all. Not in the slightest. Because it just kind of adds so much time to, like, the gameplay, and it's kind of... It's not, like, the most fun or entertaining thing to do, but... I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume maybe that's probably the one thing that we could have found here. Yeah, okay. Well, shoot, let me go back and buy one more thing now. Alright, we're back, and we're gonna buy... Um... I hadn't really decided between these two, but I think I'm gonna just go for the staff upgrade. Although I guess it would help if I hand in, hand in the cheeky I found first. All right, there we go. So now I get my staff is called Corrupted Will, huh? And I should have done a before and after to see like how much it actually went up by. It says ten strength. I think it, I think it was only like five maybe before, so it, it probably like doubled it or something like that. But the main test will be to see how much damage it does in battle. Alright, so let's head to the east. We'll go find this freaking fairy. And I'm gonna save my game before I do that, just in case I can't come back again. In case I need to, like, restart and, you know, go back and do something in the town. I guess I could have totally done that before, like but I didn't think about it. I don't think I saved my game, really, before I left those areas where it's like the cutoff, you know, where it doesn't let you go back. Yep, we found the fairy, which apparently is just like a rowboat. <laughs> That's not much of a fairy at all. I mean, I guess, kinda, in the old-fashioned sense. Just when I think of a fairy, I think of, like, a big boat. You sound like a typical passenger. <laughs> You don't look familiar. Wait, why can't I get on? You're not the ferryman, then what are you doing here? Yeah, quit wasting my time. I'm a... V <coughs> I mean, uh... I'm a nice guy, and I just need a ride. Ray and his boys went into the Briar Woods yesterday. Yep, okay, so this is where the Briar Woods are gonna get tied in, where... We're gonna just have to go through there and deal with something random <laughs> to be able to go through the ferry. So the goblins stole something from them and they went to go get it back and now they're in trouble. You some kind of hero or something? <laughs> no, I'm actually just doing what I need to do to, to do what I wanted to do. So I feel like Boyle is going to get dragged into a, doing a lot of good deeds that he doesn't really want to do, and he doesn't really think of them that way. But, uh... Like, he has to anyway, just to get what he originally wanted. <laughs> so, this this is definitely... It definitely sets the stage for, like, being a very comical game. Oops. Oh, no, 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 I can't go down that way. This town is a little bit convoluted, I gotta say, with all the hills and different directions and such and whatnot. You saw an odd purple glow in the trees just up those stairs. So you saw a cheeky, my friend. I'm glad I talked to you, because I think I... Yeah, look, right here. Man, these guys are all over the place. Get, get the F. Cheeky? Thank you. Man, trying to get away. Always trying to run. I mean, it's not like I smell that bad. Okay? Or, I, or I'm or i that ugly. You know, the beauty creams only do so much. And then it's just, this is what I have, you know? This is just me. This is my natural look. Alright, y'all. So here we are in the Briar Woods, and I think this is a much more appropriate place to stop the video. Much better than last time. But, uh, yep, we're about at the 20-minute mark, so thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is the Daily Moogle. And, by the way, I, I never even said anything about, like, the fact that the game is officially released now, but I'm sure all of you guys are uh, busy playing it yourselves, um, and I'm sure a lot of you are probably way farther than me in the game already, because, you know, if I was just playing the game and that's it, like, I would probably also be a lot farther, but 
you know, I'm recording and then all of the editing and publishing and stuff that does takes all of that takes time. Obviously, you know that. But um, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I was the one giving you the spoilers, you know, at first, and now it's like you guys are gonna have comments probably like where you're gonna be spoiling things to me. So it's just kind of funny. But yeah. All right. Anyway, I'll go ahead and resume the outro sort of. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.